there's relationships which are more, we could call them casual, I guess. Um, although that is still pristine and amazing and should still be respected as beautiful. Nevertheless, they're more casual. They're more passing. They're more for some purpose of learning. Two beings coming together, having a oftentimes rather brief experiential encounter with each other, whether it includes sexual relationship and intimacy or not quite. Um, these relationships, they sort of tend to come and go, come and go. And then there's the types of relationships that you'll have once in your life or several times in your life. I've had them several times in my life where it feels like there is a little bit more going on. Like this is actually this, tra the transparency that's present in that relationship and that in that other being is able to really allow for that transparent soul to soul connection. Now, this is where we often find. And also that soul usually then in that case is actually part of our soul group of our higher soul group to which we are connected. So the soul of that individual is more relevant. It's more closely vibrational, thematically aligned with my soul. It might even be the same over soul, which allows for that experience, especially when both personalities are really awake and present and transparent. But even when one of them is not, or the other person is not, you can still sense the nature, the vibratory essence of that soul connection, which is more closely aligned at that higher non-physical level than say one of the casual relationships, which was more about the personalities playing something out. So in a sense, we could say there is relationships that come more in passing and that are more coming from the personality self, relating from the personality self, law of attraction from person to person, working something out, exploring something, and then usually saying goodbye, unless you're both really afraid to let go, in which case it might even turn into a marriage that makes you both miserable and forget about your journey in life to some extent. Um, or it might be beautiful, but usually those casual relationships are just for the purpose of working something out personally. Do not get attached to these especially. Do not get attached to the other type of relationship either. Only stay attached to your true self. Enjoy relationships. Enjoy the reflections that come. Appreciate them as much as you can, but stay in true alignment to yourself. Always let that be first. And so the relationship that's more transparent to that soul level, where the souls are more aligned with each other um, in terms of the themes that they're trying to explore, or it might even be the same oversoul experience, people can then have really profound experiences of unity with another being in the reflection of another being. So here's the physical illusion of these bodies walking around inside of our greater consciousness. And somehow through the transparency of these personalities, having made themselves more transparent and more self-realized, they are now able to actually reflect and become transparent vessels or channels or conduits for this vibratory soul essence to meet itself and see itself in each other. Now, this is the magical type of unity relationships that many people crave and seek for, especially within the spiritual seeker realm. Um, they often call it that twin flame connection. Now, twin flame oftentimes is a story more than anything. Um, but basically anyone that, from anyone that is related to your soul group directly can start to symbolize this twin flame connection in this life for you. What does that mean? It basically means that what it feels like is that you're created out of the same fire, in the same fire. You're created out of the same wood. You're made out of the same substance. You're made out of the same soul. And this can come in many ways. It might even be, it might even be, um, someone of the same sex that you meet, even though you are straight and it might not be sexual at all. It might be like a partnership or a brother, brotherly or sisterly relationship. It doesn't have to always come in the form of this intensely, um, sexual and romantic relationship experience. So anyone from our soul group has the potential to take up the, 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 to, to take on the shape, to take on the functionality of being symbol in that twin flame, um, in that twin flame type of connection. So again, what that means is that you have a both become transparent. You've both realized that what is important first, you can't really track this before you have worked on yourself significantly enough. So, or unworked yourself, basically. When you've become transparent to yourself, you will naturally attract someone of your soul group. Or again, this doesn't have to just be one person. It really doesn't. Like let go of the limiting stories of there's one person out there in this physical world and I've got to find them. 
maybe on Tinder, maybe on whatever. Um, but it's not going to work that way. Okay? It's just not going to work that way unless you're some kind of a rare exception and it's relevant for you. How this is going to work is you're going to be have to open to other types of relationship and not only crave for that one relationship, but just be more open to your life's journey. Understand that all relationships are relevant for you because they teach you more about yourself. They prepare you for that twin flame connection, whether that comes in the form of one person, multiple people at the same time, or one person after another, because the twin flame is not exclusive to one body. It's not exclusive to one mind. It is a symbol that happens when you are ready for it. When you have worked on yourself again and you have realized that the most important thing in your life is you, is your connection to your true self. doesn't mean you become selfish in how you act and respond to other people, but it does, it does mean that your vibrational alignment is so pure and powerful that you would never sacrifice that for anyone or anything from the outside world, not even another person, not even your twin flame connection. Now, when your confidence in yourself becomes this big, it becomes very, very immediate and effortless for you to attract relationships that have some degree of soul transparency with them. And even some degree of soul transparency will already feel awesome to you depending on where you're at. Now, the more transparent you are to your soul, the more even these types of connections will no longer be able to fully reflect or satisfy where you come from unless their soul tra the transparency to soul is also impeccably clear. So again, even, even when you reach the realm of true soul connections becoming transparent to each other, there is still an an endless growing curve even within that realm of the soulmates and the twin flame symbolism connections. And the only way to go through this journey is not to stay where you're at and hope for the best and hope for a relationship and project onto your future. The only way to actually experientially get there is to go through the motions of connecting more towards yourself within yourself and prioritizing that, becoming clear on who you are. I used to have a great difficulty attracting the relationships that I desired um, before I had this first real relationship around the age of 18. I was always very romantic. I was very passionate. I was very committed. I wanted to give my love to somebody and I wanted that to be reflected. I wanted to be super committed and exclusive and prove to them how much I love them. And like, and like I said, I often scared people away with that and I still do, although it's in a totally different way right now. Um, but I had great difficulty getting in relationship with the people that I felt the strongest connection to. And they were always there, like a carrot dangling in front of my face. But I was that guy that was that girl's best friend, you know, while I was in love with them for years on end. I had, I had one major love in uh, elementary school and I had one major love and one more briefly for about a year, but one, one major love that I was in love with for almost the entire duration of high school. And I was, I was their best friends, you know, I was their good friend. So now this, this was all because it's vibrational in nature and and there was something quite not in alignment within myself in order to be able to attract it. I, I was still using that experience to learn from. Now, and now after all this self-realization and self-awakening and starting to live my joy and starting to passionately step out into the world and convey the message that, that I believe in, and by having that strong resonance within myself, relationships come effortlessly all the time. Before one is done, the other one begins um, often. So... I get very little breaks in a way too. And so anyway, what the point that I'm making is that relationship becomes effortlessly attracted to you. You'll have so much opportunity. You'll have so much opportunity to, to connect to other people that um, it's almost like you have to put it on hold for a bit every once in a while. You have to pause that for a bit. But this happens effortlessly once you step into life confidently and once you become truly connected and confident to who you are and you don't sacrifice on that for no reason whatsoever except for the sake of being patient every once in a while for a period of time for the sake of allowing the other person to understand what's going on or catch up with where you're at but other than that patience out of love and compassion you're not making any true sacrifices on the core of who you are or on your journey in life you will always know that the core of who you are and your journey in life is the only most important thing in your life. Now, if you can do this, people, if you can do this, I promise to you that all the relationships you desire, 
will start flooding into your experience. It's my promise to you. You will find those connections because it is law. It works by attraction. There is someone out there for everyone. In fact, there is multiple someones out there for everyone. And the only way to get there is to really, really connect in here. There is no other way.